specifically here at Sing Sing, we're looking to make a culture change. Sing Sing is very diverse in its population. However, 85% of the inmate population are from the five boroughs or the surrounding counties. The Metro North, it comes right up through the middle of the facility. You can still hear that train rustling through as we're starting to hear it now. Once they start this educational process, their whole view on life changes and they have opportunities that they've never had before. They begin to realize that they have potential. And once they begin to realize they have potential, there's no stopping them. For many, many years, I, I really was a piece of work. I did some horrible things to undeserving people for all the wrong reasons. And I'm not that person anymore. And I look in the mirror and I'm absolutely fine with the person I see. And for many years I wasn't. I really wasn't comfortable in my skin at all. Contrary to societal belief or, or opinion, there is a humanity in here. There are people who are shifting paradigms, who are changing their ways, and they're becoming productive, positive, and important people. At some point throughout my incarceration, I felt lost. To the grace of Hudson Lake, I was able to finally find my purpose in life. Basically, what Hudson Lake has given me was an opportunity to redefine my time. And I'm proud of who I am today. And it's not because I did time, it's because I acquired an education. I still have something to be proud of, and that's a lot. You kind of ask yourself this, you put a guy away in prison for 10, 15, 20 years, and you give him nothing but the yard. What you get 20 years later is an unempowered, angry, spiteful, possibly revengeful, and even more violent individual, and you put him back out into society. Or, you provide a guy with an education. You empower him with some knowledge. No matter how dire we all deserve to be rooted for, and education puts you in a position to be rooted for. And you see that in these guys, and it's graduation time, it's positive. Uh, they realize their whole perception is completely changed and they've done it here inside a prison. But it's by giving people the opportunities to do better, to be educated, to know their role in society in a positive way. I've been here almost 10 years now in this facility. It's cool to go to school now. The waiting list is at least 200 people long. We don't have enough classrooms to accommodate the individuals who want an education, who want to have a second shot at life who want to change their lives, who don't want to commit any more crimes. This is the culture that's being projected in a place that has college.